Well, I started hunting up and found my first one when I was seven years old. Found that arrowhead right there. Then after that, I just found in the creek when I was playing in the sand, and then after that, I started hunting them. And after every rain, I was walking creeks, and I've been doing it all my life. But there, over there in Illinois, there's more artifacts. And on the east side of the Mississippi, there was a higher population than the west side of the Mississippi for some reason. Boy, you go there in Illinois, on top of that, you get on top of the bluff, and you don't hardly run out of campsite. It's just flip. When they used to mow the board plow all them fields, they were just full of flint chips and burnt rock, just one field after another. And you get on the Iowa-Missouri side, there's, there's fields like that, but they're just kind of here and there, you know. But more on the Illinois side, there's a lot more sign of Indians. Well, no, that effigy of a snake, I found that 40 years ago. And that was probably made by the Hopewell Indians. That's a piece of petrified palm tree. That's the root of a palm tree right there, the speckled, but, but it, it grew down into the limestone that petrified right in with a piece of limestone. But the center of it is a piece, the root of a tropical tree, probably millions of years old when it was tropical around here at one time. Mm -hmm. 